Good morning. We're on our way to the Ward Charcoal Kilns, right outside of Ely, Nevada. These are the Ward Charcoal Ovens. These are pretty cool. This is kiln number one. I read that these are 30 feet tall and they're 27 feet in diameter and the walls are 20 inches thick. And I think there's six kilns here on this site right here. Charcoal burns slower and hotter than raw wood, a characteristic necessary for smelting ore. The charcoal was used in the smelters at nearby Ward. Timber was quickly stripped for miles around the ovens. One oven equals six acres of trees. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. I did not even realize this is how much they would stack in the charcoal kilns. They stacked the wood all the way up. And you see they had um, the side that I thought was like a window is what they would use to walk into the kiln and stack the wood from there. I think these are the best preserved kilns that we've seen so far, right? You think Death Valley was... Death Valley was pretty good. Too. Pretty good? But I don't know, there's a... I guess there are some tops missing off the ones down there. These, you think? Oh, okay. The border looks a little different. Oh, okay. Yep. I would have to agree. Let's go inside here and check this one out. Six acres of trees. Wow. For one oven. For one oven. And uh, you can see how blackened the inside of the kiln is here. The last time we were in some kilns in Frisco, and you can actually smell, um, it smelled like a campfire. I don't notice that here. I read something online that's kind of interesting. I haven't been able to confirm it or not, so it's just rumor at this point. But the Heaven's Gate cult came here and performed some kind of ritual inside the kilns for the uh, Hale Bach Comet in 1997. Like I said, I haven't been able to confirm any of this, but it's kind of an interesting story. This is a half mile loop around by where the charcoal ovens are. These up here are lime kilns. It says this stone structure is a lime kiln built to produce lime mortar for the charcoal ovens. Lime mortar was used as the bonding agent between the stones. Oh. I wonder if originally this was all filled with trees before they started cutting them down. I, I would imagine so. Yeah. I would imagine that there were um, pine trees and stuff. Do you know um, how long ago they stopped using these kilns? No, no. Probably at least a hundred years maybe, huh? We were supposed to go on a half a mile hike We've already been on this trail for about a mile. I'm beginning to think it's like the SS Minnow, a three hour tour. <laughs> now what do you suppose this is? Never know what you'll come across. Yeah. This is pretty tall in through here.
Feels pretty springy, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> We're almost back to the charcoal ovens here. We're going to get back on the road and head up towards the mining district. This is the Ward Cemetery. There's only a few of these grave sites that have markers, so we're not going to spend too much time here. I just wanted to give you an idea of what it's like. So this is the Ward Town site, correct? Yes. Oh, look at what we have here. the remains of a structure. There's a little bit of history for Ward. In 1877, the town of Ward was one of the largest towns in White Pine County. By 1878, the declining quality of the ore deposits prompted miners to abandon Ward for the new boom town of Taylor, located on the other side of Steptoe Valley. Much of the town was physically moved to Taylor at that time. Fire struck, destroying one third of the town in 1883. Ward officially died in 1888. Wow, so that's why we don't see any ruins because they actually physically picked up the town and moved it over to Taylor. Interesting. There's really not much here that we've seen. You can see that there's, um, you know, metal cans and pieces of metal, glass. But um, as far as structures and that, everything's pretty much gone. Um, you can see where they look like there might have been some, but they're long gone now. So this is pretty much all that's left. Ward Town Site. Can you imagine, though, living out here? How beautiful is this? And I don't know if you can see up on the hill, going up towards the snow, but all the way up the side of the mountain, you can see switchbacks where, down towards the bottom, you can see where there was mining. And there still is something back there, some buildings that are more recent. But um, you can see the switchbacks going all the way up the side of the mountain there. What I read that they stripped most of the trees in the area when they were making the charcoal in the kilns. And uh, it's been 140 years now and the trees are finally starting to come back in this area. But it was pretty bare for over a hundred years. There wasn't much up there at Ward, but uh, it was interesting to read about it. See how these people lived back in the day. So we're back on the road, guys.